What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk about sunglasses and not just sunglasses, but if I could design the perfect pair of sunglasses for me, what combination of these might it be? And I'm gonna show you the different styles and stuff that I've got in front of me and kind of give you my opinion and thoughts on all these. Some of these have a little trick up their sleeve, so you've probably figured it out already. Let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrew and this is a sunglasses discussion. Obviously I wear sunglasses all the time, whether I'm outside working in the yard or flying the drone or riding the Harley or just enjoying time outside driving or whatever. I've always got sunglasses with me. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of a selection here in front of me. So we're just gonna talk about these a little bit. These are the sunglasses that I usually wear for when I'm riding motorcycle. These are Harley-Davidson sunglasses. They're made by Wiley X. They've got a the little bit of a foam wind barrier here. I like that they wrap around a little bit kind of to deflect the wind and obviously the little foam kind of helps a little bit with that as well. So generally speaking these are the sunglasses I'm gonna wear while I'm riding. So then these four pairs of sunglasses here. This one is one brand. These three are all made by one brand. So these are from Core Essentials, and this is kind of the first pair of magnetic sunglasses I ever received. And uh, I love that about them. They're magnetic, so if you clip them onto your sweatshirt or your shirt pocket, they're going to clip on. And these are a very strong magnet, so they definitely are going to stay put. But it's cool because whether you've got a refrigerator or like in my old house, in the garage, I would just put them on one of the cold air vents in the basement or whatever. And uh, this is a recessed light that they're on up here. You can't see it, I just noticed that. But that's a really good feature of the magnetic sunglasses. And like I said, uh, these have a very solid magnet. What I don't like about these is they are very bulky. These have very big bulky temples. They're thick, they're pretty heavy. Um, but they are nice and strong and quite durable. I've had these for a long time and no cracks or anything like that. They have held up really well, so I will say that. So these sunglasses from Core Essentials are quite nice also. These are all from a company called Distal Union. I'd say I probably wear this version the most. These are pretty similar, um, just a little bit different. I actually have two pairs of these though, so one lives in my truck and the other one lives on my refrigerator. But these all have the magnetic feature in the temples as well. So kind of the same as the Core Essential glasses. I love that, that they're magnetic. And again, you can stick to the refrigerator. So they're always nice and convenient and you know where they're at when you need them, which is a really nice feature that these Wiley X's don't have. So these obviously are just gonna be sitting somewhere. I leave these on the bike all the time, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'll have a link to the Core Essentials sunglasses as well as the Distal Union ones. These, you can find these at a Harley dealership if you're interested. I don't even know if those this style or whatever is available online. So I wanted to talk to you mainly about these and the features that I really like about them. And, and that is the magnetic temples, which is very nice, but also these things are super durable. Uh, not, probably not so much the aviators, but like these here are gonna be very flexible. You can really bend them and they just kind of go back to their original shape. And they're nice and lightweight. And like I was saying with the ones from Core Essentials where you've got such that wide, heavy duty, thick temple. And this part actually can get pretty sore behind your ears, especially if you're wearing like a stocking cap or a motorcycle helmet where something like this is nice and thin, it's light, it doesn't push your ears out. It's much thinner in the uh, temple tip area, which is, really good. These you can get replacement lenses for. I won't say that they're super cheap. They're not like gas station sunglasses, but they're not super expensive or high-end either. I would say 
nine times out of 10, maybe 10 times out of 10, I'm grabbing my distal unions. I've kind of almost retired the core essentials, honestly. I will say to be fair, I believe, I don't know if they've done it yet, but I know Core Essentials was looking to update their designs and their technology a little bit. Last I had talked to my contact at Core Essentials, so these may be outdated and they may be completely updated by now, but I'm not exactly sure. The one issue I do have with the sunglasses from Distal Union is they are all polarized lenses. Non-polarized lenses aren't even an option. And though there is a lot of benefits to having polarized lenses, uh, a lot of people hate them. I have, I have a friend, in fact, that can't stand wearing polarized lenses. For whatever reason, it completely messes with his vision or whatever. But the thing that I don't like about polarized lenses is when it comes to looking at a digital display, you're screwed. I can't wear these sunglasses when I ride my motorcycle because I installed Dakota digital gauges on my motorcycle. And as soon as I put on a sun pair of sunglasses with polarized lenses, that screen goes completely dark. I cannot read a thing on it at all. Where if I'm wearing these sunglasses from Harley Davidson, these Wiley X's here, non-polarized lenses, I can see my gauges just fine. All displays, all screens, cell phones, this and that. I don't have a problem with it. But yeah, going going back to a pair of sunglasses like these with polarized lenses, that makes it completely impossible to read a, a digital gauge. So that that is a problem. What would I do different? Like you already know these have a lot of features that I really like. The one thing that these don't have, they don't even offer them, as of right now, or at least as far as I know, or at the time that I got these three different styles of sunglasses, uh, they don't offer anything with kind of a wraparound feature, something like this. If I could design my perfect pair of sunglasses, if I could get a partnership with Distal Union and work with them to design a pair of sunglasses for me personally. I would take their technology, their design, their magnetic temples, their lightweight features, and their durability, and I would put them into a pair of sunglasses like this. Something I could wear every day, something that wraps around, keeps the wind out really nice. I can wear them while I'm riding motorcycle. If I took all of the design features from these and put them into a style sunglasses like this and eliminated the polarized lens option and just went with a standard lens like what's in these Wiley X's, that's exactly what I would want. So we're adding a feature, we're changing the style, we're eliminating a feature. I think that combination right there would be the perfect pair of sunglasses for me. So Distal Union, if you wanna, if you wanna collaborate, hey, I, I'm here. I love your products. I say let's just go for it. If you don't wanna collaborate, just do it. <laughs> just. Please design a pair of sunglasses like this and maybe send them to me. You know, I'll try them out. I'll make a video about it. We'll talk about how awesome they are. That's gonna do it for me and this video. I appreciate you checking in. Let me know, what do you like? What style sunglasses do you prefer? Stay safe out there as always. Have a good one and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.